In this video I'm going to show you how to save YouTube videos for play on the Inatab 2. First thing you need to do is open a uh, internet browser and go to videoripper.me videoripper.me and then you want to find a movie on YouTube you want to save such as this one and what you want to do is click up here right click on this and say copy you're basically just copying the URL so you can tell the video uh, ripper site where to uh, find the file you want, the movie you want to save. So you come in here and you paste the video, paste that URL you just copied in here. You can right click and say paste or push control V and then you want to hit this uh, rip. Then it will look like this and a little Java box will pop up. Well, first you got to click run, always run on this side or your browser may something say something different uh, but then it should look like this and the little Java program is running and then you want to scroll down here and you want to find the uh, highest quality FLV file you can find FLVs are these little red ones here and it says, this one says middle quality 360p H264 AAC that's fine um, so we want to click the download link here and then it starts to download and this one is 21 meg uh, and once this downloads we'll run it through the uh, media coder which we previously downloaded and uh, there's a few settings we have to change to make it uh, encode correctly and I'll show you those is download this software called media coder and I'll put a link to this in the uh, description as well. Click on download and once the page pulls up you want to uh, scroll down to choose media edi coder edition. You want to choose the full and it gets you back to this page. And what you want to do is you want to click on this one right here. This is the link to download it. There's some other places where it says like start download. These are all advertisement. That's an advertisement. But you want to click right here. When you click it it should uh, bring you to this next page where you just click one of these mirrors. It doesn't matter which one because they all should be the same. So that would, that will start downloading it. There it goes. It's downloading. And once it downloads, then uh, it needs to be installed. Once the file is downloaded, you want to double click it. Should pop up. This is, and I checked, this is compatible with Windows 7, 64 bit, and 32 bit. So you shouldn't have to worry about it if you're running Windows 7. And I also believe it's compatible with XP, although I didn't really pay that much attention because I don't have XP. Next. I agree. Next. And here's where um, we want to install all of them. Next. I don't want to install anything else, so install. please choose an option. Oh. We'll do custom install, and I do not want Amazon. Oh, you have to do it. No. Oh, thank goodness. Install. And the installation is finished. Finish. And it might start up automatically. Nope. Okay. So we'll try to start it now. Media Coder. Okay, once you get to this screen, just click start now all right and then it looks like this so here we are back in the media coder and I got a cheat sheet of stuff over here on the left that I want to make sure I remember to do first thing you need to do is come down here to tasking change the working folder to your desktop or someplace where you can find it easier later then you want to come over to the video tab and you want to change the video bitrate you just want to type in 600 at why why 600 because that's what they uh, what the VTech website said to do. Then you want to change the format down here to the H.264, and you want to come over here to the X264 and change this to baseline. And I think that should be it for those. Then you want to come to audio and you want to click this enabled button if it's not already enabled there we go and you want to make sure you want to come over here and you want to click on lame mp3 
and you want to change this to the tape. The Inatabs website says 96 kilo, kilo bods or bits per second and so we got 56 or we can go up to 512 so we'll choose 512 so it's a little bit higher which is fine uh, and we want to make sure like I said it says lame mp3 tape and then you want to click this drop down menu you want to make sure you actually click mp3 so that it saves it as an mp3 file because that is also what uh, VTech says to do uh, let's see then I'm going to come over to container change container to AVI because the Inatab expects that the file will be in AVI format if you don't change that it probably won't work um, the picture you want to come over here and if it's widescreen you want to choose 480 by 272 if it's widescreen 320 by 240 did I get those right? widescreen and full screen? yeah there I'll show you my cheat sheet there's what there's really what we're looking for the and then we need 600 let's see what's next <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself um, the frame rate's 25 that looks good sound I just left it at stereo uh, I don't think I changed any of those picture this is where you're going to change the the that's what I just talked about time I think all the rest of this is all don't change anything just leave it like it is that should be it. Okay, so once those are all saved, then we want to um, find the file that we're downloading, which is still downloading. And once it's downloaded, we want to push the add button and then select that video. So the file is downloaded. So I'm going to click add file. And here it is, Goofy Gymnastics. And notice it says video ripper.me. That's fine. You can take it out if you want. Open and there it is and we have all our settings down here still so we go ahead and we want to push start over here on the top right there we want to push start and then off it goes you can watch the video there in the bottom left and also over here on the right hand side you can see some of the statistics on it uh, let's see You can see there, it's second to the bottom, it's using 100% of the CPU. So anything else I do at this point is going to be slow. So anyway, it goes and it converts and it shows, has a progress bar right here, counting up. And once the video is, is uh, saved, or finished encoding, then you want to copy it over to your edit tab. So the video finished encoding, and here's the end result. Uh, before I put on the end of tab, I'm going to give it a name that I like, something that I can recognize, and hopefully your kid can recognize. So just rename it and save it. Then you want to find your end of tab drive, which is probably going to be uh, mine is the G drive. Yours may be something else. Open it up. There's the LLN directory. There's the movie directory, and you want to just drag it over here and it should copy across. This file ended up being 33 megabytes, so that's pretty good for, you know, it's only about a 5 or 10 minute show. But there it is, it's saved on there, and then we want to eject the, eject the uh, USB drives, and uh, turn the end tab on, and we should be able to play the video. Once you have the end tab back up and running, videos. you want to go to videos, let this load. This will this will load for a little bit, depending on how many videos you have. I only got like two on my card, but it still Start takes that long. It. And here's the Goofy Gymnastics. Let's try it and see if it works. I believe it turns it this way. And there it is playing. So that's how you can save YouTube videos onto your Inatab. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section, and I'll try to answer them. Thanks.